Hello everyone, today we're gonna react to Greta Thunberg and Andrew Tate's beef which ended up with him going in prison. Don't click off, this is not gonna be political, this is gonna be purely for entertainment, alright? Please enjoy this, this is gonna be really funny. Everything started with a little tweet. Greta Thunberg tweets, climate strike, week 227, the climate crisis doesn't go on holiday. We all know global warming is a huge issue and that's why all of the influencers keep buying their mansions right on the beach but real talk plays are actually disappearing like completely disappearing like the Maldives is gone there's other little small island countries I'm gonna link one here check out this yes theory video where they're literally like they have one meter of space like above sea level and that's just gone like they're going to be gone now that's a funny joke but obviously climate crisis is actually a pretty big issues and there's huge cities like Jakarta <laughs> You know, the biggest city in Thailand, aka the capital, like a couple million people live there. And they have a whole section of the city which is literally being protected by a seawall because it's already sunk so far that it's literally below sea level now. And there's many more places going through that right now. But I do think it's ironic that all the politicians keep buying the beachfront properties while these other countries are literally being swallowed by the ocean Atlantis style. So what? Does Andrew Tate tweet in response? Of course, he hits her with, what color is your Bugatti? He doesn't, but he does something similar. So let's read this. Hello, Greta Thunberg. I have 33 cars. My Bugatti has a W16 8 liter quad turbo engine. My two Ferrari 812 competiciones have 6.5 liter V12s. This is just the start. Please provide your email address so I can send a complete list of my car collection and their respective enormous emissions. Now, I don't know if he's just referencing the emissions as being enormous. That's up to the jury, pun intended. And then, you know, he's just there like, mm, I'm filling up my Bugatti. And what does she clap back with? She claps back with yes, Please do enlighten me. Email me at smalldickenergy at getalife.com. Oh my god, dude. I don't know who let her loose, but this girl is absolutely brutal too. I think it's like one Tate for the clap back with his Ferrari, one Greta Thunberg for the email address. Now, all right, this is going to be sensitive content here because we're about to watch what he responded to that, and it is not kosher at all. So we start with, strange as it may seem, there's a teenager out there who believes your government should tax you into poverty to stop the sun from being hot. And it's actually true because not only does the government take like 50% of your wages usually, on top of that, they then tax every single thing you buy by like 20% or 21% if you're in Europe, which means that realistically, if you're living in the West, you're getting taxed on the income that you make between 50 and 70%, which is absolutely mind-blowing. Then this guy, I don't even know if I can show this, guys. I really don't know if I can show this. Um, I'm just gonna leave this here and you guys are gonna fill in the blank, okay? I have no words, I have nothing to say about that. I apologize to all my female followers. Um, I love you very much. Please don't unsubscribe, okay? We're just we're just having fun here. I do not support this message. Please don't talk to women like that, okay? They are lovely beings that deserve to be respected. And this is, this is, <laughs> you see? <laughs> you know your, your clap back is good when it literally ends up with you being in jail for 60 days. So uh, let's go ahead and see what he responded. And there is a video attached to that this is this is the this is the golden part thank you for confirming via your email address that you have a small the world was curious and i do agree you should get a life and then he puts out this video with 19 million views at this point which literally ended in him getting arrested like was it worth it bro i don't i don't think so so let's go ahead and watch that because i'm sure this video is going to be absolutely hilarious too release some greenhouse gases <laughs> <laughs> he just starts with this cigar and he says, I'm releasing greenhouse gases to this guy. What the heck? I'm obviously a stranger to online controversy. It's not something I often do. But now, the mainstream press is commenting on the fact that I was informing Greta that my very extensive car collection with internal combustion engines, which run on dead dinosaurs, have an enormous emission profile. And she replied by telling me her own email address. She sure did. Greta's email address is 
I have small dick energy. Why would that be your own email address, Greta? Strange. I mean, also, I don't want to assume her gender. It's 50-50, but it is what it is. I get why people really don't like Andrew Tate because he keeps saying stuff like this, but if you really dig deep and you get past him saying this kind of absolutely horrible stuff, when he actually decides to calm down and have like a deep conversation about what men are going through nowadays, he usually brings up some really good points and that's why he's resonated so much because he uses the shock factor to get pushed to all the media sites and get the free advertising and then the people who are actually looking at it properly are like, hold on, he actually makes some good points, let me see what else he has to say and then that's how he gets the fans. It's the exact same formula that Trump used and if I was a controversial person, I would probably try the same thing. But no, I'm nice. And for that reason, you should really hit the subscribe button to get me to 200. Please, I'm gonna keep asking this whole week and we better hit it, guys. We better hit it. Uh, make sure that these boxes are not recycled. I'm not gonna say anything. Remember, remember that he said, make sure these boxes are not recycled, okay? I want you to, re to take that from the air and put it in your head for the next two minutes, all right? Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, I'm actually mad at Greta, right? Uh, I'm sure he wasn't mad then, but maybe after being in jail for 60 days, he's probably a little bit mad. Because she doesn't realize she's been programmed. She doesn't realize she's a slave of the Matrix. She thinks she's doing good. Someone has sat her down and convinced her to try and convince you to beg your government to tax you into poverty to stop the sun from being hot. And then, because I called her out on it, the global matrix got this bot farm to like and retweet and all this bot commenting to try and pretend that her telling me that she has a small dick in her own email address somehow teaches me a lesson. Uh, how do I address this? Okay, we're gonna leave this to the side and we're gonna get serious for a second because I don't think people really understand just how bad the bot problem online is and that most of this is actually state organized. So if you looked at the amount of, of confirmed bot traffic, which means comments, likes, news articles being like generated and reposted and comms, all of that stuff which you can do with bots nowadays, which was happening, like you can just look up that number and see how much activity is happening for certain given topics. Back in last year, in the beginning of last year, the amount of bot traffic from Russia regarding the, our favorite virus that we all know that I'm not going to say the name of or I'm not going to get pushed anywhere, the traffic was like, let's say a hundred thousand. And the second that they invaded the other country, which I'm also not going to say, to not get a uh, shadow band the bot traffic for the virus stuff plummeted like a thousand times and all of a sudden there was all this bot traffic being pushed out regarding like positive propaganda from Russia's side of like, hey, look what we're doing. We're trying to liberate people. We're trying to save them, which is obviously a lie. And I think that it really surprised a lot of people when they realized like the scale of this, because we're literally talking like a hundred thousand, a million bots just roaming around state organized that countries are using to push a narrative, which I don't think is a really well-known fact. So let's keep going with the video and go back to the funny stuff. I just really felt that I should share that with you guys because it matters. Welcome to a new episode of The Clown Show. But now I know at least that Greta, with a little hate-filled face, bitter. <laughs> I have the little hate-filled face. I, I mean, I'm just, I'm gonna pause it here. <laughs> little clown face. Sitting somewhere without the heating on, in the cold, a little hot, shivering. <laughs> shivering because of global warming. I mean, he's he's got jokes, man. He's got jokes. Use my tweets, which is gonna make my Twitter account far more fun into a tournament. All right, guys, that's the end of this part. But remember what I asked you to remember about the pizza boxes. Well, after he got arrested, there was news floating around that the Romanian authorities somehow needed to see the pizza boxes to know he was in Romania, which is complete hogwash. Obviously, the Romanian authorities already knew he was there. But Greta jumped on this fact that was being pushed around by the media and she clapped back with, this is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. I think Greta gets another point here. So we're like, 
like Andrew one for coming out of the bat with his Bugattis. Greta two for the email address. Andrew coming back with one of the funniest videos on the internet of last year. We're gonna give a point to him, but Greta coming out on top by hitting him with the this is what happens when you don't recycle your pizza boxes. Enjoy the sell. We're gonna have to give this one to Greta. Thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, please subscribe so we can get to 200 subscribers and please tell me if this was too controversial for you guys or not. I'm really worried about that. I hope it wasn't. I really tried not to be controversial at all. The point is that we're here to have a little bit of fun. All right. So thank you guys and check out the next video.